Hi, Chris. This is Jess with your singles love reading. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. So if you're a couple or you're in a relationship, uh, this is for people who are actually single. They're not seeing anyone. They're casually dating. They may be entering into something with someone, but they're not official or they're in, uh, sifting away from someone and they've not made it official. So single is just if you consider yourself kind of like on the market again, obviously. Um, if you want the couples, there's a couples reading that's up there. So go check that out. Now, for some of you guys, or this one may be first. So I don't know how I'm going to do it. But guys, you'll check it out. Uh, so Aquarius singles. Now, for some of you, I definitely see a theme going on here. I, I just did the couples reading. And it almost looked like I was talking to singles. And now this looks like I'm speaking to couples. So it's kind of strange. But in that, there's still a message, and that message is that you've got to let sleeping dogs lie. You gotta let them lie. You gotta let sleeping dogs, dogs lie. You've got to say, okay, I'm going to cry and hurt and be in pain for this amount of time, and then I'm gonna let the death happens happen. Right? Um, you've got to let it happen. Okay. Um, some of you, your challenge is, and that it may be hard for you too, because you'll be experiencing those eclipses in your 12th and 6th house. So it may be very difficult for you to um, deal with those eclipses that's going to be coming up, right? The subconscious and kind of your everyday life, you know, so be very careful with that. Try to let things go as much as possible and try to see where you are going wrong in a situation so that it doesn't continue to re repeat and you don't have to learn harsher lessons is what I feel and you don't become more jaded is what I'm feeling as well because for some of you singles you're having a hard time I feel disconnecting from a relationship of past now for some of you it could be up to three relationships three different times that you've been hurt three different relationships that stands out in your life that you have had disappointments and you've had to can you know mourn and and start all over again mourn and start all over again and the thing about a lot of Aquarius is that people really don't know your pain they may see you as shrewd and you know cutthroat and all those things but they don't know how you got there some of you you just made like that right <laughs> as everyone are everyone is uh but others of you and 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 that's what other people as well you kind of get there through experience and and again not kind of dealing with whatever the issue was letting that be learn what it, what you needed to learn and move on so for some of you that is what you could be struggling with and starting new fresh really with the intent that this i i know that i have the full intention for this to go somewhere real right because and why do i say that because when it comes your way which some for some of you it will be um and check out that 2019 especially singles check out that 2019 especially everyone i say aquarius you need to check it out because it's a lot about 2019 that could just be a, a make or break for you if if you kind of come into it eyes wide open um so with this particular reading i feel like some of you are having an issue disconnecting starting new with a, a true intent of, of a real commitment and not just your own intentions but believe in the intentions of others as well i feel like there's a relationship or someone perhaps that you probably like at work or um, you would like to work with but you probably have some attraction to as well and you're keeping it a secret or you've kept it a secret and you're not doing that any longer uh, or someone is doing that to you so someone may be coming out revealing that they have feelings for you and should they are intent to get you they're intent especially if you're an Aquarius woman you may just confront him very boldly in fact and say hey do you do you like me do you want to go out like <laughs> Um, so I do see Aquarius women being very forceful after kind of having, you may have done some research or you may have done some spying and it's like, you kind of know, or oh, this person's not married anymore. This person's not married or this person's single or this person wants me or hell, I want them. So some of you are going to address it being single. You really have this natural rapport with the person and, um, you're going after them. Someone's coming after you or you're going after someone and you want to make things right. You want to settle a situation. Uh, this could be new or old. This is not, I'm not just feeling this as old energy. Like someone's coming back. You're going back to someone. No, some of you may be saying, I really like this person. I'm going to go, go for it. 
You know, I'm going to I'm going to go all in. And some of you, if you're just starting to see someone, you're trying to make it official. Like you want it to be real. You want to settle a situation like are we in or are we out? You know, is this going or not? <laughs> um Maybe because you can't walk away. For some of you, the challenge though also is you walking away. Yeah, you're single, but you're not wanting to start all over again with someone new. You're wanting the person that you want. And you know who it is that you want, and that's the person you're going after. Um, you may have to deal with someone who, in fact, is not sure where they stand with you. They they may have, if they're a new person and they're not necessarily giving you the same energy, they may still be going through um past hurts and pains as I've mentioned earlier uh, and that they have to sift through and that you have to respect that uh, you may be going through that as well now the next energy coming up is someone is very much using logic even though some of it is not they're not really sure some of it somebody may be very stoic right so there's this having to address the situation having to um get down to the bottom of something and someone physically coming to address a situation, okay? Wanting to get down to the bottom of a situation. Um, some of you uh, maybe have just met someone and that sparks a new energy of starting your proceedings for your divorce, completely severing a tie from another person because it's like, okay, I'm all in with this and now I'm going to go take care of that. But then the energy comes before the month is out. It's like, you're not really sure. First, you were really sure. Now you're not so sure. Some of you may feel like things were going really well with a particular person. Um, and you kind of admitted to some things and got some things off your sh off your chest that you've been kind of holding dormant. Um, this person has been expressing how they feel toward you. And yeah, they're going to make everything happen together. And it's almost like they kind of become a little bit different. So someone could change on you in a drop of a dime is what I'm getting. And you may be like, not sure why, you know, and if they're doing that, if some of you could be doing this as well. So this is this kind of game that a person is playing to push you back a little bit because they're really not sure if this is something that they want, like a commitment to be fully invested and committed. So some of you could be experiencing that, particularly if you're starting to meet someone, you're starting to see someone, just met someone things are going great then again like i said it kind of comes to a halt you're not really sure why why it even can manifest with an argument and not speaking for a while you want to be very careful those are huge red flags when you first meet someone and straight straight from meeting the person before you guys can even get into the first quarter get at the, get toward the second quarter um they're pulling back and it creates arguments and we don't speak for several hours or days that's a huge red flag that is kind of setting up this, you know, karmic pattern. So, so I do see some of you kind of <clears throat> possibly being able to go down that road. So be careful with that. Um, others of you, I feel if you're single, uh, this is going to be a good time for you to kind of um, disconnect from any loss and pain that you've had from your past and to um, move forward in a new yeah, if you really are able, for those of you Aquariuses that are single, if you really are able to let go of your past pains, hurts, disappointments, you know, really are able to, you know, reconcile those things for yourself and let them go for you. Um, there's a lot of happiness that, that lies in wait for you. A lot of happiness that lies in wait because there, there is a particular relationship that can manifest in a way that you really never thought that you can have in this lifetime, not in the one that you're living, right? But it's there for you. And I even then that's why I urge you to go to that 2019 because there's some things that you need to take care of in order for this to actually manifest for you. So that's what I have for you singles. Hopefully it's been helpful. If you like to share with us, please do so in the comment section below. You know, we'd love to hear from you. If you like something personal with me, I can be reaching the beginning and end to this video, I think. Um, but definitely in the description box below. And if you would like that night, the 2019, that's in the just description box below. I don't know. Every time I say that, I can't say description box. <laughs> um, and if you are new to this channel, welcome and subscribe because I will be back very soon with another one. Take care. Aquarius singles.